morning everybody welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here welcome today i'm going to be vlogging for you guys and today is sunday so we are doing our busy things that we always have to do all of the errands such as going to the grocery store and we are hitting up a couple other stores like Target and Dick's because I need to grab a couple things from there. I'm going to be getting Briella a big girl floaty for when we're at the pool. And I'm getting a Dick's hat because, well not necessarily a Dick's hat, but a Nike hat because I've been working out a lot this week and I just want to be able to have something to block out the sun because it's been really, really hot. Yesterday we went out to the big field and we were playing with a bunch of kids. Well, Logan and Briella were on a slip and slide and I was sitting in the shade and I still got sunburned. So I'm like, I need to block out the sun as much as possible because I'm a little white girl and I get burned really, really easy. But Logan, did you have fun yesterday at the slip and slide? Yeah, I was in sunburn. You were sunburned too, huh? Yeah. It's because they were putting soap on the water slide and it washed off all of his sunscreen, huh? Yeah, because when this when, Hello. when the bubble hurt me, look. I got an owie right here. Oh man, you did get an owie. Alright, sit down so we can go grocery shopping. Okay. How are you today? I'm good. I'm feeling great actually. Me too. How are you, Briella? Say yes, I'm good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's been talking so much lately, but let's get to it. Yeah. All right, our first stop. We got Sam a hat, and we got me a hat, and now we are looking at the dumbbells. What are you gonna get? I'm looking at a barbell. A barbell? Oh, they are cheaper. At they're 10 bucks versus 12 versus 13. Because I need a five pounder now, and they're cheaper at Walmart, so. All right, we are now at Target. I found some weights, same price as Walmart. I got these chips. I wanna try them scent beads, chalk, and I'll tell you guys about that later. <laughs> what are you doing? If we had one of those like testers, and you see how strong my grip is. Yeah. Well, I mean, this isn't a tester. Uh. <laughs> Let me see. Put it on. You need help? Bring it over here. All right, you guys, so. After Target, we were all hungry, so we came home and ate some lunch, and we were relaxed for a minute. But at Dick's, I got me a hat, and I got me a Stanley Cup. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, I think... It's enough for us to all have water when we're out. It's cool. It's nice. It looks good. Sam got a hat, too. It's not necessary, but it's, it's cool. Yeah. I think I haven't bought a cup in a really long time. Yeah. So I was due for one. <laughs> All right, now we're going grocery shopping at Walmart, and then we don't need much stuff today, so that's really good. All right, first thing we got, cherries, grapes, raspberries, strawberries. What else are we getting now? Some produce. The end product. Briella, what are you doing? Is that good? Yeah. yeah, so yummy. <laughs> Logan, where are we? At Costco. We're at Costco. We got dishwasher soap, dish soap, a little splash pad, eggs, and toilet paper. And that's like enough for the year. I know. <laughs> hey guys, it's a couple weeks later. This pregnancy has been kicking my butt, and I actually started filming that video um, the day or two before I found out that I was pregnant. That's why I bought that pregnancy test and i just have been going through it in the first trimester so i'm going back and getting all these videos up for you guys and a lot has changed over the course of like a couple weeks i shared this pregnancy really early i think i posted it when i was seven weeks and that's because i've had miscarriages and i feel like it's better to just embrace the time you do have with a pregnancy rather than just keeping it from everybody and like sharing about the miscarriage either way when in like you know real time i could be sharing how excited i am about this pregnancy and just going into detail about everything and just bringing you guys along for like the journey and everything like that so since this is the end of this video i'm just going to go into detail about like all the symptoms that have hit me over the course of a couple weeks and some answers that I finally found due to my dizziness. So, 
right from the beginning I was expecting to get really nauseous and I actually did not get nauseous I have had like waves here and there but nothing compared to Briella's pregnancy so I'm definitely thinking that this pregnancy is a boy in the beginning of my pregnancy I was feeling extremely dizzy still you guys know that with my period I would get pretty dizzy and that was a new symptom like over the last like five periods that I had I was getting really dizzy every time it was coming up on it and I was like okay so I went to a cardiologist they told me I might be dealing with POTS and we still have no answers on that but I did go get an ultrasound on my heart and everything looks really like normal so <laughs> there's nothing wrong with like the functioning of my heart or anything like that which is really good the only thing they did say was that my heart is pumping harder and that's because i'm pregnant so with that being said i am getting a monitor put on my chest in like a week or two and then that'll just you know be able to tell them more about if i have pots they'll be able to see my heart rate increase when i stand up and all of that i don't know if i'm dealing with pots for sure for sure but i do know that like i have symptoms that resemble it a couple times a month so with the dizziness we ruled out something being wrong with my heart and it was more of like a spinning sensation i actually ended up going to the hospital because i was extremely scared of feeling like i was going to fall or pass out i didn't know what i was feeling so i went to the hospital they sent me home they're like come back if it gets worse so like two or three days later i was like i went back to the hospital because i was feeling worse and i like literally couldn't get off the couch and i went to the er again they kept doing an ekg on my heart because they kept thinking it was due to my fast heart rate but I was just nervous at the doctor, okay? That's why my heart rate was up. But they ended up doing an MRI. And an MRI is safe when you're pregnant as long as you don't um, get it with contrast. And what they were trying to see is if there was anything going on with my brain or anything like that, which everything was normal. So we ruled out anything being wrong with my brain, anything being wrong with my heart. <laughs> So my doctor suggested that he's going to send out a referral to an ENT. An ENT is an ear, nose, and throat doctor. So they're going to go inside my ears and look at them and everything. Um, they think it could be vertigo due to like, I recently had a cold not too long ago, but pretty long ago. It was like a month ago already. Um, and they said that it could mess with your ear um there's like crystals in your ear or something and that could be just throwing off my equilibrium which could be causing me to feel like i'm spinning um it's been less lately i've been just trying to stay active and everything and i've been doing some like exercises to like help with that so we all really think that the dizziness i've been feeling is due to my ears something going on in there Finally, when the ENT doctor calls me, I'll be able to go to an appointment and see if anything is going on. So that's good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but this little girl, we got a new cat. <laughs> so many new things are going on. I was going to make a whole video like talking about her, which I did. I filmed the other day and I told you guys about her, but this video is coming first and she's over here messing with my hair. So, so there's that. So I've been dealing with a lot of dizziness and I hate going to the emergency room but all that spinning sensation I was feeling and not knowing what it was from was really really scary. Ow! I am now eight weeks and five days pregnant and I still haven't even had an ultrasound and I'm really sad about that because I want to see the baby but I still have another two weeks until my first appointment which I'll be 10 weeks by then almost 11 weeks it's it's insane but I've also been trying to find the baby's heartbeat and I haven't been able to find the heartbeat yet which I'm so bummed about because that will decipher to me if it's a boy or girl because with Logan's heart rate his heart rate was always in the 140s and Briella's was always in the 160s so I think that old wife's tale is real and it actually tells it but everybody's different and I have heard other people say that their boys were in the 160s and their girls was in the 140s so I don't know but we'll see and that's what my symptoms have been like the nausea has definitely subsided already and i'm only nine weeks which it's kind of scary because i heard that like if your symptoms start to go away it could mean that you're gonna miscarry or something and me not being able to find the heartbeat is also very scary so i've been trying to like dive into it and i try to find the heartbeat once a day and i already tried this morning and i couldn't find it so maybe it's just too early I have been 
you know really stressing myself out about it so i just need to stop focusing on it i'm not bleeding i'm not cramping i'm not in any pain my hcg levels have definitely rose to the amount that they're supposed to and everything's been going fine so i just need to stop stressing about it and i'd be thankful that i don't have nausea because it definitely makes me lose weight and i don't have any weight to lose i am too skinny so that is pretty much how i've been feeling in the beginning of this pregnancy so yeah update on my pregnancy and then we got a kitten her name is lucy if you guys have watched despicable me like two and three there's um, a woman on there named Lucy and I like her character so I named her Lucy and if you guys are OG subscribers you remember when we got a cat named Cooper he looked exactly like her an orange tabby and ow we found him in our complex and a year into him being with us he ended up getting really really sick i never shared about this it was just too emotional for me but he got sick we took him to the vet and he ended up like he had a fever and things like that and they could never find what was wrong with him and he was just like pooping all over our house and so we ended up taking him to the vet again and he ended up passing away so we didn't have a cat we told ourselves we were never going to buy a cat again because we were just so scared but briella is an absolute animal lover and she wanted one so bad every time we go outside she sees cats and we just decided to get her her own and she carries this cat around everywhere like all day i feel bad for her but she is so cute hey look at yourself lucy lucy say hi Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I hope to see you all in my next video. I have a lot more videos coming to your guys' way that are from the past. So not that many though. It's only like two or three. I have not vlogged that much, but I am going to get those out for you guys. And you're going to probably see me at each end of the video because I never end them anymore. So bye guys.